ones that you will need an adult supervisor for this Miss Kim do-it-yourself shaker egg project so go grab your most favorite adult and let's begin these are some of the items we are going to use for the do-it-yourself shaker egg Miss Kim has a full list immediately after this but you can see that there's some eggs some Mod Podge glue some tissue paper some paint brushes and also some scissors, maybe some ribbon if you have it around the house. But most importantly, you need to put something down on your table. I have cardboard, but you can use newspaper as well. So everything stays safe and no glue gets on the kitchen table. Again, our craft list is a table covering, such as newspaper, so our table doesn't get any glue, grains or seeds to put in the egg, some fresh eggs from your refrigerator, Mod Podge glue or Elmer's glue, tissue paper of any color, scissors, paint brushes, and it's optional to have some ribbon. Let's get started. We're gonna need a real egg, a real egg. We're gonna need a tack. So we'll start off with these two items, okay? An egg and a tack with a point on it. You see, it's got a point on it and you maybe have your adult help you with this. You're going to put a hole in the top, one small hole, and then you're gonna put another hole in the bottom. And what you're gonna do is try to make a little bit bigger of a hole. Okay, so some of the pieces are starting to come out now. Just a little bit bigger of a hole, just like that. Can you see the hole? Now, from this end, the smaller hole, I'm gonna blow into this cup all of the egg stuff, because we don't want any of the egg stuff in there, okay? The yolk and the albumin, bleh. We're gonna get it out for our shaker egg. So we can stick some fun things inside to make it shake, like seeds and popcorn kernels, okay? So I'm gonna blow. You see it coming out? Pretty cool, huh? Kim got it all out. Then you're gonna go over to your sink and rinse it out from the large hole. Set it aside and let it dry. I did this step already yesterday in preparation. So mine is already dry so we can begin to make our shaker egg right now. Make sure your egg is all dry because if you do not, the kernels will not shake. Now let's pretend it's all dry. We have the egg. We put the hole in it. We saw that process, right? Now, we're gonna need a few items. We're gonna need our seeds to make the egg shake. So around your house, there should be some hard seeds, like maybe popcorn seeds or quinoa or rice. They make a perfect, or even little stones and pebbles from a fish tank, if you have a fish. Those small little stones that you have at the bottom of the fish tank would work perfectly. So that's the next step, is we're going to place, I'm gonna use the popcorn kernels. Place them inside the big hole. Yes. Yay. So we have a real egg. It's really fragile right now, but by the time we get done, it'll be really hard, like, like my first egg. See? With all the glue on it. So our next step is to have tissue paper. We have tissue paper here. And I cut them up in squares ahead of time. It doesn't matter what shape they are. You cut them up in pieces that are about this size. I have several, because we're gonna do several layers. The next you're gonna grab your hodgepodge glue. This is the best. If you don't have hodgepodge glue, you could just use Elmer's glue, that will work. But this has a really cool gloss to it. And you're going to need a paintbrush. 
this paintbrush here, you're going to begin first by painting. You're gonna paint onto your tissue paper, directly on there. So I'm gonna just paint big swaths of glue onto my tissue paper. And I'm gonna pick it up with the glue facing down. I'm going to begin to shape the egg. Then I'll pick my brush back up again and use it to get the other parts glued down. So you basically just brush on some more glue, just like that. As needed, you dip in and add some more. And then what I do is add another layer where your hands are not, so that you could put another piece of tissue paper on that part. And then you're going to shape it down gently shape it down like that and then add some more glue to the parts that haven't been glued to the egg yet you can paint it down it just easily goes down lovely now i'm going to add another layer of glue because i'm going to add another piece of tissue paper just like i've been doing i'm going to keep doing it until I feel like it'll be nice and stable so that when it dries, it'll be very hard. Okay, so I'm gonna pat that down and then get more glue to make the other part of the tissue paper stick. You're gonna paint it, paint, paint, paint. Paint, 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 paint on the glue. So all of the tissue paper is sticking. Then you add another layer of glue and you're gonna put another piece of tissue paper on top. Grab another piece of tissue paper. As we're layering it nice and thick, so when the egg dries, it will not break. Very cool. This is a extraordinary project. Do it yourself with Miss Kim. It's exactly the project I needed to do with you today. I'm not exaggerating. I wonder how many words I can come up with and use egg in it. <laughs> exactly. I made myself laugh. So we're gonna do another layer after you put that piece on so you can add another layer. And I would say five or six layers should be just the right amount. So I'm gonna smooth that down real nice, smooth, smooth. And then on this end, I'm gonna get some more glue. I'm gonna pat that down. This is gonna be one beautiful bright green egg. I'm very excited. Yay. This goes great with Miss Kim's shaker egg song. Because right now, while we're at home, we can make this and watch the video and have some fun with Miss Kim's Shaker Egg song. I love it. It's so much fun. You can make like a whole dozen of them and still use the eggs to scramble for breakfast. All right, so one more layer, I think, and we should be good to go. And then I got one more cool tip for you to use to decorate your egg so that when it dries, it looks beautiful by the time you can use it the next day. Pat that down real good, the glue, so all the pieces are patted down. So you might need a good amount of glue. Don't be shy for the last step. So I have some ribbon here, pink ribbon. I'm gonna use pink. And basically, I'm going to measure it by actually sticking it to some of this glue that's left on the egg. And when I meet the other end, I could use my handy dandy scissors to cut it and then add glue to make it stick. Let's add glue to this piece right here, and add glue to this piece right there. It's like an egg headband. <laughs> you like that? I think we should do one more. One more. I'm gonna do one 
around the belly of the egg. You can do as many as you want. You could be as creative as you want. You could use whatever you want to decorate it. Even after it dries, you could probably paint it. Very cool. Okay, so that's sticking and I need to cut this piece and get this to stick better and this last piece up here to stick better. So I would douse it with glue so that all of these ribbons will stick. So one last piece. Every piece of this ribbon should have glue on it as our last step. So go around and make sure that all of the ribbon has glue. Then comes the most fun part, is to stare at our beautiful creation that we made today with Miss Kim and know that by tomorrow morning, we're gonna be able to watch Miss Kim's shaker egg video and have our own shaker eggs. Okay. Put this down to dry on my paper plate here. You can actually stand it up straight. Now it's time to clean up. We probably should put this in the refrigerator. Yes, and utilize it for breakfast. Cleanup is always my favorite part. I don't know why, but I love organization. It's so much fun putting things back where they belong. It's such a good feeling. Have a wonderful day and join me again and please subscribe to my channel. Like and subscribe today. More to come for you beautiful children. Have a great day. Shake, 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 shake your shaker egg. Shake, 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 shake your shaker egg. Shake, 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 shake your shaker egg. Cause this is a shaker egg song.